Hey everyone, my name is Mitchell Owens. I'm one of the music production instructors here at the Maven DJ and Music Production School here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at a specific FM bass sound that is featured in one of my recent releases. And this is specifically using Operator in Ableton Live. And so this is a two layer bass sound uh, with a low layer and a high layer. Uh, sounds complicated, but I will show you that it is a lot simpler than you would think. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So first thing I'm going to do here is show you what this sounds like in context. So here we go. So there you go. So that's the sound itself. And let's go ahead and jump right in. So I have operator here loaded on a MIDI track. And we are in the key of E minor here. So I have my push set to E minor. And in operator, the first thing I'm going to do is set the level of oscillator B to minus 10 dB. We're not going to change the waveform at all. This is actually just built off of sine waves here. So uh, the next thing is we're going to change the coarse frequency multiplier of oscillator B to four. So four times that initial fundamental frequency. And we uh, need to adjust the envelope here for oscillator B to create a more per, uh, aggressive pluck sound here. So already getting super close here. So a uh, couple things we have to do. I just want to set the decay and release time to 650 milliseconds. And I'm going to go to oscillator A and I'm going to bring the sustain down in the same uh, way that I did with oscillator B. But I'm going to set the decay time to 1500 milliseconds or one and a half seconds here. So uh, essentially what that allows me to do is I can just tap a note instead of actually having to hold it down to get the full decay time of the sound there. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the spread here to about 50%. Uh, this is actually gonna be our higher layer. So it's gonna be a wider uh, stereo sound that's gonna sit on top of our uh, mono bass layer. And the next thing we're gonna do is up the transposition to 12 steps. This is gonna be an octave higher. Excellent. So that's the core sound there for the high layer. So really all we have to do now is just filter out what we don't need out of the sound. And I like to do that with an EQ. So we're gonna grab an EQ8. I'm gonna set the first band to a high pass, bring that up to about 400 Hertz here. It might be a little too high, let's back off. Let's go around 300 Hertz here. There we go. Next thing I wanna do is add a little bit of reverb here that I have on this return track. And I do want to grab a ping pong delay. You may have noticed there's a little bit of delay on the, uh, the original sound. So I do wanna back off on the feedback and the dry wet pretty significantly. And we're gonna back off on the reverb as well. All right, there we go. And that's our high layer. So the next thing we need to do is duplicate the track. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here and I'm gonna grab the same exact MIDI clip. I'm gonna bring it over to the new track. And we're also gonna copy that down to the other layer here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and rename these high and low. So for the low track, we're actually gonna use the same exact sound. We're actually just gonna sort of remove a few things that we actually added to the high layer. So the first thing is I'm gonna flip band one over to a low pass, and I'm gonna remove the ping pong delay here. I'm going to bring the spread down to zero because I want these lower frequencies to just be in mono. I don't want these lower frequencies to be in stereo. And then I'm going to set the transpose back to zero here. And I'm actually gonna decrease the cutoff frequency for that low pass just a little bit. And let's solo that, let's see what that sounds like. So a nice dark low layer to that bass and let's solo the high layer too. And let's hear what they sound like together. There you have it. So there you go, there's a two layer bass sound, all in operator, super simple, just a couple oscillators, uh, a mod one modulator, one carrier uh, that come together uh, to make this pretty simple bass sound. 
So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. Uh, feel free to follow us on social media. You can find Maven on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and uh, feel free to follow us. Stay up to date on our upcoming tutorials and future classes.